Law Warrior Online. SCP-1N Scorpion Overview When Brigadier introduced the Scorpion class, the mech received mixed reviews. As the first of the four-legged mechs, it was called the White Elephant of the Military Corps. Troops dropped that nickname soon after they fought in close quarters with the mech, however. The Scorpion was the dream child of Dr. David Harrison, who projected that a four-legged mech would offer greater movement flexibility in combat. Because it can raise and lower its weapons, it can get extended range from them. Unfortunately, the Scorpion proved to be more of a target than a fire platform against battle mechs of the same weight class. As an infantry support vehicle, however, it proved to be effective because it can move faster than most common tanks and carry much more firepower. Capabilities As the saying goes, piloting a Scorpion is like strapping yourself to a raging bull. It is true that the SCP-1N doesn't have a smooth ride as a two-legged mech. They will often toss the pilot around violently. The Scorpion does not carry a great deal of firepower because much of its space is allocated to control devices and to the special gyros that keep the mech functional. These gyros are so advanced that the mech can move as long as two of its four legs are still functioning. However, this also depends on the skill of the pilot. The mech's crab-like stance makes it stand out in the battlefield. It moves like a spider and can pivot much faster than other mechs. The Scorpion's specially constructed heat sinks are distributed in all four of these legs, allowing the mech to vent nearly twice as much heat, even when standing in shallow water. The Anderson Armaments PPC proved to be the Scorpion's stinger. Many consider the study design to be the best weapon produced by the firm. Linked to the Garrett Ground Track GRNDTRK9 targeting and tracking system, the system was particularly deadly. When used against infantry, the mech seems to have only one weak area, which is its underside. If enemy troops can get a clear shot at the underside of a scorpion, the battle is soon over. The armour there is rather thin, and doesn't protect many crucial areas, including the cockpit. Battle History The scorpion's history is tainted with stories of how the middleweight mech falls so easily in fighting. Though some of these stories are true, they do not provide an accurate picture of this mech's true capabilities. Brigadier had two facilities still functioning at the end of the First Succession War, one in the Free Worlds League, and one in the Draconis Combine. Neither lasted very long in the Second Succession War, but the Scorpions produced before the destruction of the facilities are officially classed as Star League battle mechs. The Fusiliers of Orienta's 4th Brigade used Scorpions during the battle for Hassad against House Lau. Throughout the summer months of 2925, the Scorpions of the 4th Brigade ploughed through the swamps of Hassad's lowlands, driving the Lao infantry along before them. Their unique heat sinks performed well in the cool waters of the swamp, turning this average mech into a very dangerous foe. Their advances tied down nearly two full companies of Lao guards, and eventually forced the defenders to give way to a Marek onslaught. In 2944, the Federated Sons felt the sting of the Scorpion on the planet Styx. House Curator had used several lances of Scorpions to draw the defenders of Lake Weo into the open. Thinking the Scorpions to be easy targets, the Davian boats moved in close, as did several shore-based mechs. The battle lasted several days, and in the end, the Scorpions won, though control of the world didn't hinge on this single battle. House Davian tried the same tactic against Curator forces on Royal. However, missile-armed infantry dove under the Scorpions, tearing up their undersides and destroying the mechs at very close range. Though this tactic can cost many lives, it was very effective. By 3018, no house had a single unit composed entirely of Scorpion-class mechs. Most of these mechs have been shifted to a support role, and even some of those have not received needed replacement parts. Most Scorpion mech warriors fear that their mechs may be scrapped entirely. House Steiner is already beginning to scrap most of its Scorpions for needed repair parts. The program is estimated to be complete by 3026, and it's expected that other houses will follow suit. Variants There are several variants of the SCP-1N. Most of these are house modifications that add several plates of armour under the cockpit and other delicate areas. Notable Mechs and Mech Warriors Mech Warrior Wendell Puritan II Wendell was assigned to House Steiner's Lear and Guard when he was told that his family mech, a Scorpion, was going to be scrapped for parts. He was offered a replacement mech, but turned it down in favour of becoming a mercenary. 
Currently, he's employed with Smithson's Chinese Bandits, which are working for House Marek. His scorpion is in perfect condition. Mech Warrior, Regent Ryle. Regent is currently a fire support mech warrior with House Curator's Pest Regulars. She's been in many fights, and her scorpion shows it. The right front leg has been replaced four times, and her commanding officers have told her that she will get no more replacements. Regent's an average pilot who is the laughing stock of her company because of her mech's condition. <laughs>